There are 13 golden guns in various areas around Vondel. Only a few appear each round, so if you can't find one, try looking for another. The builds each have five attachments and vary drastically in quality. However, they can all be tweaked on the weapons bench. Let's start with the easier to obtain weapons, and then we'll move on to the weapons for which you need keys. The Golden Basilisk is located in the Art Museum on the far east side of the map, south of Central Station, the same building with the restaurant briefcase on the top floor. On the first floor in the art collection is a modern piece behind glass. The work looks like a bunch of pistol-shaped brush strokes, helping to hide the basilisk's shape. Break the glass and you can take the pistol. Sometimes this building is a stronghold, so if you need a key, you can buy one at a buy station for five grand. The gold FJX Imperium sniper rifle is located in the master bedroom of the castle on the northwest side of the map. You can easily scale the castle and drop down to this room, which is on the second floor of the southwest side of the building. There are also two crates and a bunch of bags and boxes to search here. Just be careful for the thirsty castle guards and shield boys. The gold KV broadside is located in the police station. This is a fairly heavily guarded building, but if you come at it from the right angle, you can probably avoid a lot of the heat. The shotgun is located in the jail cells on the second floor and comes with a 25 round mag of Dragon's Breath rounds. It packs a punch and is very useful for building 21 raids. Many people know the TAC-56 build, which is located on the top floor of the university, hidden on the top shelf of a bookcase. It's not in the library where most of the shelves are found, but rather in the main university building with the meeting rooms and computer cubbies. This is a great build, but I usually swap out the optic for something more thermal friendly. My current favorite is the Gold Victus, which is found on top of the ticket booth in the open area of Central Station. Ultra One, the warlord Al Nar, codenamed Pyro, is active in the area. Your call if you want to go after him. You'll have to climb up to the second level and leap across to get the weapon, but it is worth it. I usually take it directly to the gun bench and wipe the build and reattach meta loadout gear. After that tweak, this thing is hard to mess with. The gold M13B is pretty easy to get, but requires a rebreather or scuba mask. You'll need to enter the Vondel canals near the police station and swim into an underwater tunnel that will snake around below some of the row houses to a tinier passage and then some ladders up into a locked house. Here you'll find some crates and gear as well as a gold M13B which happens to be a pretty good build. The rest of the weapons require a key or special entrance. Check supply drops, look in other locked spaces, and take out high value targets to retrieve these keys. The next one, the wrap, is found on the second floor of the museum. It's easiest to enter from the roof, which takes you right to the area with the exhibit where you can find the LMG. It will be hanging on a display with a bunch of ancient relics. The gold ISO can be found on the top floor of the fire department another space that requires a key, and which is easiest entered through the top floor door. Climbing the ladder on the side of the building or zip lining up to the roof and dropping down to this door will take you directly inside, where you'll find the ISO resting on the pool table in the lounge area. The gold signal 50 is a challenge as it's found in the market area inside the locked church stronghold. 
This place is crawling with AI, so be prepared. It can be easier to open the doors and retreat to high ground or one of the row buildings while the AI inside rush out of the building completely, or you can rush in and up into one of the ladder wells to the second floor, where you'll find the SIG lined up with the pool cues on the southern wall. The Gold Lockman sub is a movement beast and is found on the first floor of City Hall. The weapon will be hidden in one of the corner rooms in a small vestibule, so most people will run right past it and never notice it. Especially if the pyro spawns there, most other players will focus on the orange crates and the boss's loot. Just don't get caught in the stairwells with other operators. The RAL is found at the stadium, another locked building with tons of loot. There's a lounge area at the eastern end of the building, and the RAL should be leaning against a wall near the sofas there. This is a weird location, often adjacent to or directly underneath Xville spots, so be careful getting into protracted gunfights with bots late in the game. You might attract unwanted attention. Down at the cruise terminal on the second floor concourse, leaning against a zebra poster, you'll find the gold Sacken. LMGs are not my favorite, but this thing slaps. The terminal is always full of bots, and even once you've cleared it, They'll just keep coming in through the other entrances from all angles. So get in, get your stuff, and get out. Of course, sometimes there are also three safes in there. Stay alert. The last golden gun is one that many people forget. The gold Vaznev is in one of the hottest regain locations on Vondel, the aquarium. Usually locked, you can enter through the open elevator shaft on the roof of the building. Once you do, you'll have to take out some bots, shield boys included. But just outside the elevator shaft, the gold Vaznev will be sitting on top of one of the light fixtures. This might be the best golden gun of the bunch, and almost no one knows about it. Ultra one, we're seeing increased activity in the area. Stay sharp. Which one of the 13 is your favorite golden gun? Let me know in the comments. And remember to keep your head on a swivel.